website. What's going on YouTube? It is five o'clock and we're heading to work. Well, we're heading to go run. I guess I should clarify on that. I have a full gym at work, so when I, when I get to work, I go into the locker room, drop off my stuff, go run, then I come back and shower and, and get dressed. So I actually bring my work clothes in my gym bag with me and I wear my running clothes to work. So I run in the morning before work, then I leave. Um, but yeah, I uh, didn't have time for meditation, so I'm gonna do that after work. But what I wanted to do, I was thinking is maybe start linking the playlist that I'll be using for meditating each day or, or whatever um, so you guys can if you guys are interested anyway uh, you guys can see what exactly I'm listening to or whatever when I'm med meditating each day but yeah let me know if that's something you guys want to want to see or, or hear put it in the comments down below second thing I wanted to touch on real quick before I go get my miles in is I got a response from seeds of change I'll put the response up here it's a fucking frustrating response, I gotta be honest, if you're a vegan, because it says it's vegetarian, it's suitable for vegetarians, doesn't contain any animal-derived ingredients. So, again, they, they won't say vegan for some reason. They will not say vegan. They are sticking to their vegetarian thing for whatever reason, even though they're claiming that there's no animal products in there. So I don't, I don't know. Either way, you know what I mean? <laughs> Make up your own mind at that point. Alright guys, I'm going. I'll catch you guys later today. What's going on YouTube? We're back. And it's Vlogus 31st. Camera came today. New camera, so that's good. We're going to be testing that out. It's not charged yet, but we're going to be messing around with that. Got all kinds of different mounts and accessories and all kinds of stuff. I did not notice that it didn't come with a remote like my other one. So that's kind of disappointing. I'll have to buy that separately. Also, it only came with this case. I didn't get the other case for some reason. So I have to buy just the regular uh, case. It was an extra 10 bucks. So that kind of sucks. Did get a new book here to read. I was just talking earlier about how I need to read more. I used to read a lot. Now, if you've read this book, post in the comments down below. Was it pretty good? I'm about to start reading this guy here. I've heard about it for a long time, never got around to reading it. Also though, check this out, new vegan cookbook. Now this is for the Instapot, this is Instant Pot recipes or whatever. Um, I'll tell you what though, it looks a lot better than the other one. The one with the uh, gelatin in it, the so-called vegan cookbook with gelatin in the ingredients. Just the presentation in this one is just so much better. There's like that's just there's just so much more detail and it gives you so much more instructions on how to use every all the settings on your cooker and all that stuff yeah pretty cool stuff actually uh, a lot of you guys actually may not know this but I was planning on going to culinary school for a long time actually all the way up through high school I had actually had it already set up to go to at the time what was called the Portland Culinary Institute but is now what are they called now? Le Cordon Bleu or something like that? Yeah, I was actually gonna go do do that and be a chef, but I sliced my hand real bad on one of the uh, electric... Uh... But no, my point is, this person, I looked him up already, the, the author here. I hope I don't butcher her name, Jill, Jill Nussenau. I looked her up earlier. She's like a real deal vegan. May not be the exact type of vegan you are, you may not agree 100% with what she does and so forth. But like she's there, she's been, she's been doing it. The author of the other book, and I'll have to go and get it. In fact, we will go and look him up. We will go and look him up online ourselves, actually, for the end of this video to see who the heck this person is. I'm pretty sure it was a guy. But I bet he wasn't vegan. I bet he wasn't. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're back. We're looking up this guy here. You can see that. Vincent Bryan, he's the author of this vegan Instapot pot cookbook, okay? So he's got to be vegan. He's writing vegan books, right? He supports the movement, right? Uh, well, this is his other book, Dutch Oven Recipes Dash Diet. What the hell is that? It's going to reduce my risk of cancer by eating chicken wraps? Are you out of your fucking mind? Dutch Oven Cookbook. Okay, so this is the one that we looked at the picture of. So we've got eggs and sweet onions. Yeah, that fucking sounds gross. Blueberry pancake? Maybe. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fuck out of the vegan community. Why are you trying to make vegan cookbooks anyway? Like, I, that's what I'm saying. These people, and a lot of them are coming out now. I mean, look at the fucking vegetable police. The other chick, I don't remember her name. Uh, I mean, the shit like this happens all the time. There's fucking phonies in the community or in the industry as it is now. It's not even a community anymore. It's a fucking industry, as we've seen. I mean, I've even stated on, on previous videos, $5 billion industry just for the fake meat, let alone all the other stuff that, that is involved in the vegan community now called the vegan industry. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of phonies like that. You got to watch out. I mean, yeah, we, whoever bought that book for me, it was a present, and I apologize, you know, um, to get rid of it like that. <laughs> At least I'm not throwing it in the trash. At least I'm recycling it. But anyway, you know, I, I'm not going to support somebody like that. He's, he's over here trying to take advantage, trying to cash in on an industry. But it's not an industry. At least it never should have been. It's a movement. It's a movement. We're trying to save the planet. We're not trying to make fucking money here. We're trying to save the planet. Right? Right? There, you gotta watch these people. These people that are leading our so-called industry. Uh, anyway, guys, moving on to shout-outs. Shout-outs. Uh, we got some good ones today. Healthy Vegan Adventures. Now, don't be fooled by the name. This isn't a fucking kid's channel or something like that. This is actually... He used to be called something else. I don't remember what it was years and years ago. It used to be something else. But he always puts out good videos, all kinds of good um, scenery and, and stuff like that. They're traveling all over the place. It's cool stuff, in, 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 in all honesty. Go check him out. Veg Source. This is a pretty popular channel, obviously. But this one I'm, I'm shouting out more for the beginners. The guys who are kind of coming in coming into uh, being vegan or going plant-based, whatever it is, and you're trying to learn. Veg Source is an excellent place to go for, you know, um, lectures on different things, uh, just all types of different stuff like that. Kind of give you a lot of different information at a time when you really need it, when you really need to stay away from the garbage information. This is a good site to go to for the good information. So go check them out. All right, Blue Eyed Vegan, we're shouting out the Blue Eyed Vegan here. Go check out her channel. I've only seen like two of her videos so far. Sorry, but I'll probably watch more later. But so far, they're pretty good. Go check her out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Vlogist 31st. It's also going to do it for Vlogist. Um, now, that doesn't mean I won't be making videos, you know, very often or anything like that. I think we have some good momentum going, and I'm in a good groove. I don't necessarily want to make a video every day because it, it does take a lot of time doing the editing and stuff like that in a lot of these. So it'll, I'll probably cut it down to maybe two or three a week. Um, but the good news is if I do cut it down to two or three a week, the quality of the videos will actually go up. You know, um, I'll have more time to work on it, to edit it if I need to, to research things, to do whatever the hell I need to do to make the video good. I'll have more time in general to do that. So look forward to that, guys. Thank you, everybody who watched all throughout Vlogus. It, it really means a lot to me. Um, shout out to John as well. He did Vlogus. If you haven't seen his Vlogus videos, go check him out. Uh, Dan runs we're giving him a shout out too. go check him out. He has a video every fucking day It seems like which is crazy, but good for him um, All right guys, that's gonna do it till next time till September take care